Next speaker is Mr. Mavrodidis Mavoridis from Greece, and after I'll give the floor to Mr. Nikolai Risak from Russian Federation. Thank you very much. Uh, dear colleagues, as we were convening, um, we had some very unfortunate and sad news, and that is that uh, the conference on Cyprus could not arrive at a positive outcome. We are quite sad to, to, to hear that news. We really think that the conference was an excellent opportunity and occasion to arrive at a positive result which would end the occupation of uh, uh, a part of Cyprus, the northern part of Cyprus, and could arrive at the reunification of the island. Uh, at that point, it must be stressed that we will continue and we will intensify our efforts to arrive at a solution. But it is very important that the Turkish side will understand and will agree at what actually are the guidelines of the General Secretary of the United Nations for a solution that will not have the anachronistic institution of guarantees. This takes us back to the old imperialism that will obviously will not have uh, Turkish troops in the island and at the end of the day that it will allow uh, the, the right will, will not allow any right of intervention to Turkey in an independent country or anyone else to intervene. So we just hope that this will continue in the future and uh, obviously we will intensify our efforts for a solution of that issue. That were the bad news, but on the other hand, on major issues that were addressed here in our assembly, Although the situation is becoming, is deteriorating from the point of view of the security, and I am referring to the continuous challenge of migration, which is still a big challenge and needs to be addressed, and on the horrible threat of terrorism that our countries face, uh, on these issues, I think that here in the Assembly we have made a very serious progress. Obviously, the migratory flows will continue, and this again is a challenge that has to be addressed, and the voices of innocent people that are killed through coward terrorist attacks really demand our attentions and our answer. Now, as far as the Parliamentary Assembly, I must congratulate Filippo Lombardi for the work being done at the Ad Hoc Committee. And I must also say something else. We had a supplementary item, which is actually a very inclusive policy item that we, from different countries and from different parties and from different political groups, we managed to arrive at an agreement. Now there is one simple question. Why can't governments adopt such positions and policies on that issue? Why we can agree in a different, very differentiated parliamentary assembly and why government, governments cannot agree. And I am referring to the governmental side of the OEC, of our organization. And the second thing is, I must congratulate the Russian Federation, but also the Standing Committee, President Mudonen, General Secretary Montella, for the decision of an ad hoc committee on anti-terrorism, because again, this is a work that must be carried out, and the citizens wait for results, for policies that will guarantee their security without jeopardizing their human rights. Those are huge challenges ahead of us, but I must say that at that point, our assembly has done tremendous work and really important steps. Thank you.